All right, all right, all righty, all right. What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs, day number 1231, coming at you. Hope you're all having a great one out there, making lots of money and doing your thing. And, uh, you know, if you are a delivery driver for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. That's right, everybody. I'll give you a second to subscribe. And uh, make sure to hit that like button down below. Let's see if we can get 200 likes. And let's jump into this. So big shout out to Vanessa for sending me this email. If you guys ever have any stories you want to share with me for videos or just a question, email me at paytodrivestories at gmail.com. So, uh, Vanessa says, Hey Pete, I wanted to share a DoorDash story with you. Saturday I was dashing and I was headed to a Krispy Kreme to pick up an order. You're very lucky you have Krispy Kreme. We don't have them here. On my way there, I was sent a message saying, You appear to be going the wrong way. I knew where the store was, plus I was following the directions and I was going the correct way. Further down the road, I was sent another message saying, you appear to not be heading towards the store and this will be a re and this will be reassigned if you don't head towards the store. Lucky I was almost there and I was able to swipe when I arrived. I don't know if it was a glitch or not, or if other people have had this happen. I've been dashing for two years and I've never gotten this message before. Thanks for all you do to help us gig workers, Vanessa. And then she also sends a, an additional quick email saying, I forgot to add that I don't multi-app. DoorDash is the only app I do. Okay, so there's a couple of things I want to mention here. First and foremost, it probably was a glitch, more than likely. Um, sometimes just simply restarting your phone uh, once or twice can correct this issue. Uh, Grubhub, this, this can have, you know, there could be similar issues with Grubhub too, where it won't let you mark as arrived, uh, at the restaurant or at the customer's door. Now it's interesting because usually a lot of people have this issue with the fraud issue with, you know, customers placing orders and saying, Oh no, 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 it's not at the right address. You know, that that's another part of the fraud thing. This is, this is not fraud. But at first I was like, oh, this sounds like it could be. But after reading the whole thing, I can pretty much rule out that it isn't. Um, and the part that she mentioned about I don't multi-app, DoorDash is the only app I do, is very important. Because like I've been explaining to you, based on the information that I've been getting from you guys and just experiences in general, um, it does seem that DoorDash is aware, well, well aware of the multi-apping. Let's be honest. They've known about it for a while. But they've been cracking down more because when they see drivers headed in the wrong direction, they're like, they start pinging you and sending you texts and, and like alerts and stuff like, hey, uh, you're going in the wrong direction. So in my personal and honest, humble opinion here, this sounds like it is a glitch 110%. And like I said before, just simply restarting your phone once or twice can correct the situation in most cases. Also, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, I have um, coughing asthma as well and allergies, windows are open. It's not COVID. I just got my vaccine too, so that should help. Anyway, off topic, sorry, ADD. Um, Going back to what I was saying here, this is it's it's important that she mentions about the thing with the multi apping because, like I said, um, in many ways they know where drivers are going. They know they're doing it. When I order food from Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, I can even tell when the drivers are multi apping too, because they'll grab my order and then go in the other direction. So this doesn't seem to be the issue. If anything, it could just be a GPS issue. It could be a signal issue, you know, something that you're not even aware of. Sometimes, sometimes it could just be a firmware update on your phone. What I'm curious is, Vanessa, what kind of phone you have. Um, on my iPhone, I've typically not, I don't typically have that many issues with these apps. Um, in the early days of 2017, 2018 of Grubhub, oh my God. I don't know if anybody was driving back then. Let me know in the comments or uh, in the chat. It was horrendous at some points, like places where we were like right, right, ugh, right in the wide open area. You couldn't even get a signal. It would say, oh, like can't connect and it would just be swirling. And then you would miss orders 
And at the time, uh, I wasn't locked in as a premier driver. I had a pretty cool uh, driver specialist that locked me in at premier status. So no matter what I accepted, it didn't matter. They don't do that much anymore unless you have uh, somebody really cool on the Grubhub side which I no longer have. Um, but with that being the case, it seems like it's a glitch. So the things you should try if you haven't already, obviously restart your phone <clears throat> a couple times. Try reaching out to DoorDash support. I know sometimes that's uh, not always the easiest thing, but try and reach out to them. See if they can maybe do a diagnostic on your phone. They can maybe ping your phone, see if there's an issue with it. And also, let me know if this keeps happening over and over and over, because if that's the case, maybe there's something wrong just with the signal on your phone. You know, like you said, you've been doing this for two years now, so it's very possible you may need an upgrade on the phone, or you may need to upgrade the software or the firmware on your phone. Um, there could be so many different things, but I'll, let's put it this way. If it doesn't happen anymore, it was probably just a glitch, a GPS issue, something like that, and you probably shouldn't have anything else to worry about. But that is interesting how that happened. So thank you for sending that in, Vanessa. I appreciate it. Uh, and like I said, send me emails at paydrivestories at gmail.com if you guys have any questions or anything you want me to make a video on. So everybody in the comments or in the chat, have you run into this issue where you're headed toward the restaurant and thinks you're going the wrong way? Let me know down below in the comments or in the chat. And I do want to take this time to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash pay to drive. You guys are awesome. That support me every month on there on the in the channel. Uh, link is in the description or in the pinned top comment if you want to get shout outs and support the channel. If you hear your name called, say, yes, Pete, I heard my name. We got BBA Master Yoda Nottingham, Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Serena Siddiqui, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Honor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilland, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu Laura, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Kimberly Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G., Terrence Pacheco, Terry DeLong, and Valerie Brown. Thank you to every single one of you. You guys are fantastic. And of course, make sure to sign up on the Get Upside Gas app if you have not done so already. All you have to do is download it from the link in the description with your smartphone, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, You'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description down below. And also, paytodrivestore.com. You can get one of these shirts and many more hoodies and t-shirts on sale right now at paytodrivestore.com. Go pick up yours today. And uh, that's basically all I got for you. If you made it to the end, comment end 437, end 437. Subscribe with all notifications on. I'll give you a second to do that if you haven't yet. Hit the like button. Let's get 200 likes. And until next time, everybody, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you all right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Take care, everybody. Peace.